Hi guys and welcome to this vlog. You may be thinking, Ashley, you look strangely tanned um, since we see you in videos and you're always pale. I put fake tan on and maybe I'm a bit orange. But you know, it was a test, it was a test because I'm going to a ball and I wanted to be tanned and I just needed to test out whether <laughs> whether it looked bad or not and I can't really decide. Let me know. And anyway, so today this is a study with me vlog. I like relax a study with me vlog because I'm not about like, I really can't do the whole being in the library. I can't do it. Like it stresses me out. People stress me out. People are gross. So I revise in my room and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you along. I've literally only just woken up and this is like 11 so it's a super relaxed study day. I'm going to, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm looking at feminist t-shirts to wake myself up and then I'm going to go take, go into the kitchen and get some like a drink and stuff and then I'll start my studying and I'll tell you what I'm doing and me doing this video is a way to motivate myself to do studying today because today I just don't feel like it and I was like if I vlog it then I have to do it see I'm using YouTube to make me study hello so to start my day off what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my Spotify music but also I'm going to use this app called Forest. It looks like this. And basically, you can use it as a way to not to keep yourself from being distracted. And you basically like grow a little forest. So I can show you my forest. So here's like a forest from a different day. And so basically, it keeps you motivated to stay off your phone and you like grow trees, which is really fun. So I'm going to put my Spotify on and then put my forest on and then do some work. Woo! Please do ignore how like, like this is just not actually colour, <laughs> but do ignore it. what I'm doing. Ignore my kinky boots. I'm reading through my Hebrew textbook and making notes and just making like just recapping everything before I do coursework and stuff like that. Okay so here what I'm doing is I'm going through my Hebrew textbook and making notes of each chapter. Each chapter starts with a basic story that uses the grammar points mentioned in the chapter. And so what I do is I go through this story, see if I can translate it without any help, not using any of the vocab list or any of the grammar. And then I will read through the chapter and make notes about that chapter. And then after I've done that, I will go back onto the story and see what I found difficult and see if I can figure out again. And then if I can't, then I'll make a note of it, what I can't do, and I'll come back to it later on and make sure that I learn that thing that I can't do. And if any of you want any Hebrew tips, do let me know, but I'm not quite sure that anyone else watching this video will want any. So I got 
How many is that? 21. You can get a double reward by, I think, watching a video. Yep, that is what's happening. So, I just did an hour of Hebrew and I feel ready to go, but I feel like I want to put some makeup on just to get myself kind of more positive about myself. And then I will be doing some more work. So I'm doing my makeup and I'm deciding that I'm going to put on my concealer underneath my foundation because I don't want to put it on top and then have weird light patches. I've just done like some basic eyeshadow to just fill it out. And you can see I've got like white patches because I carved out my brows. That's what I'm doing and I'm watching Louise Pentland's weekly vlog and that's it. That's it. See you later. So I've done my makeup and I still don't think my face is dark enough to match my body, but you let me know, you let me know. And at the moment I'm just about to do some past papers for my Greek myth module. If you want to know the breakdown of my degree, go check out the two videos, oh wow, look at that fake tan hand, wow. Go check out the two videos on my channel that are the my first term and my second term at UCL because what modules I'm doing is explained completely in that video so if you want to know what I'm studying for go check those out but I'm about to do some more studying and just cry to myself because I hate doing it okay so basically I just looked at the past paper and I can't do any of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the questions and I'm going to take the textbook which is this mahusive greek myth textbook and what i'm going to do is i'm going to like use the questions as prompting notes to like use the textbook and find the info and like y write notes because evidently i don't know it all i mean i also will show you how i've organized my folder later on and also right okay this bit is just going to be like a Right, okay. So here, on my computer, I have written to-do lists um, with tasks that I could um, do quickly. This is my tip, this is my revision tips. So basically, okay, I zoomed onto my face, whoa. So I have those lists of things, and that list is for the next week for the week where the first two exams I have is Hebrew and Greek myth. So on those lists it says it has different tasks that are good for me to do to study and I find if I have a list of things that I can do when I'm like I don't know what to do and I need to be productive I know what to do. So on that I have revision revisiony tasks but wow wow Ashley you are amazing at fake time this is my first time I'm sorry guys all the things like I that I need to do which is I want to stretch a lot of the days I have to go for a patch test at Sassoon Academy because I'm getting my hair done there I'm so cool it's for free check me out <coughs> Also, I have to look for flats and talk to um, the girl that I'm in the room about that. So, that's one tip, is to write out a to-do list of little tasks. And this isn't just for studying, this is to be productive in general. If you write down things that you can do to be productive, then that's good. And also, I use... If I feel like I don't want to do work and I want to be productive, I will maybe film a YouTube video or edit a YouTube video because that's still productive, that still has me thinking, that's still um, something that's important to me, but it's not just sitting around watching YouTube videos or Netflix or The, walk or the Walking Dead or whatever. Another thing that you can do as like productive, uh, productive procrastination is if you if you into writing you can write or you can read and at the moment the book that I'm reading is this this book and it's a bunch of essays about the psychology and analyzing the characters in The Walking Dead and seeing how realistic it would be 
and I find this book really interesting. I bought it from HMV, but it's really interesting and stimulating, but still not like revision. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna write some notes, and I'm also gonna put on my forest app again and do this for an hour, and then I'll read for a bit, and maybe I'll show you my folder. I'm just showing you that I'm putting my Spotify on, deleting all my apps and putting my forest on so I can concentrate on my work. This app I actually found out about on my good friend Blondie Girl's YouTube channel who also makes study videos. Okay, so here I am. I'm using my past paper questions and my textbook to write some notes. So I'm using the questions as prompts for my notes so that I can make good notes that will actually make sense. And the good thing that about using past paper questions is that then you know how the exam will work and you can do all the revision in the world but if you don't know how the questions work then you will not do very well so this is one of my biggest pieces of advice is to work very closely with the past papers and mark schemes if you has have them and ask your teacher how the questions need to be answered rather than just learning the knowledge because if you just know the knowledge you're never going to do that well if you don't know how to answer the questions Okay, so I've just done an hour of that work and now what I did was I did like the first section because there's three hours in the exam and there's three sections. So I did the first section making notes and then I'm now going to go and go to the kitchen, chat to my flatmates for a little bit and eat some nice food. Woo! Okay, so I'm going to show you what how I organise my food throughout the year so I can make revision easy. And also, I know I'm going to get loads of comments on this video like, wow, her fake tan is so bad. It was my first time putting it on and the only place it's bad is my hands. Like, my hands is terrible. I completely accept that. I think my hands look really gross. But it's just my hands, the problem area. Like, my arms are pretty cool, pretty done, pretty nice. My legs are pretty nice. I'm not going to show you my legs, but my legs are cool. So, if you're just going to stress about my hands being grubby, then I'm sorry. So, I have this big lever arch folder with dividers. And in it, on the first page, there is this section that the dividers came with, listing different types of stuff for each of my modules, colour-coded. And so, all the sheets and everything, notes, if even if I've typed them on the computer and I've printed them off and they're all organized in this folder for my reference so all the handouts all the printed out notes that I made myself and everything is in this folder so my whole year's worth of work is in this one huge ginormous folder which some people will be like, wow, that girl really has not done that much work, but a lot of the notes are like condensed onto like one sheet of paper. So I keep a nice folder where I put in everything and at the end of each week, I'll pack up my folder with that week's worth of stuff so that everything is in here and I don't have papers flying around everywhere. This is more amusing to revise from my notes with. So I just thought I'd let you know that I did that. Okay, I'm about to put my uh, forest on. And I'm going to do some Hebrew verbs for half an hour. So, that's, that's, that's the revision that I'm doing at the moment. Here, what I'm doing is I'm putting my Spotify playlists on again. And setting up my forest for this next little session and then what I'm doing is 
I'm going to be trying to learn all my verb forms for Hebrew, which of there are many, many of them. And if you see me talking, it's because either I'm singing or I'm chanting the verb forms to get them into my head so I know the sounds of them. It's very in, it's very interesting, but if you use different forms of senses, you're more likely to remember a lot of stuff rather than just looking at it on, on the page, especially for languages. And this is very important to make sure you have all the verb forms down for your language because they're the basis of everything. And if you don't understand them, then you're not going to do very well. And here I am. You can see me in a little bit. I'm going to start to dance to my songs because they're some ones of my favourite songs. You see, there was me dancing when I'm supposed to be doing verbs. Okay, I was done early and I have a million seconds left on my forest up. I'm going to show you my forest today. Let's look at my forest! Okay, it's just got an advert. Okay, look. Look at my forest. Look at how many trees I have today! I'm so excited! Woo! So, for some productive procrastination, I am reading my Walking Dead book, and I'm reading this one essay that is the third one in the book and it's called Inside the Head of the Walking Dead and it's about the um like actually what causes the walkers to be walkers and it's super interesting and I think I'm, I'm gonna watch an episode of Fear of the Walking Dead today because I feel like I've done quite a lot of work and I feel like it's much better to have done what three and a half hours of super focused work and get it done and work really hard than to do more than that and it be super distracted I don't think you can do as much and today I'm gonna put this treatment on my hair from Lush that I was recommended yesterday and I'm kind of excited because my hair's a little bit dead a little bit dead and yeah so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna read my Walking Dead book because it's a really cool book Okay, so this is the end of the vlog. I have a hair treatment in my hair. I'm just about to go and get some food. And then I'm going to get in the shower. And I'm not really going to do any more sitting tonight. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hoped it was useful to see how I keep myself motivated. And yeah, nothing that is left to say is thanks for being faithful. Thanks for watching.